OMG, random XD. Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. We're still out looking for this fucking farm. I don't understand. I wanted to be like a zombie killing cowboy, ride around on a horse. Not like a rhinestone cowboy, because fuck Neil Diamond. Actually, I don't know. Neil Diamond's pretty okay. <laughs> Rhinestone Cowboy, come on, that's a pretty good song. Like a rhinestone cowboy. Bow, bow. One thing I'll say about Neil Diamond is, uh, he's got strange teeth. You know, you can tell he had some work done on his teeth. D definitely don't do that. Uh, leave your teeth alone. <laughs> it makes you look like a doll or something like that. I don't know if Neil Diamond's probably the, the best example of that. There are a lot of people in entertainment that are like, I need to have perfect teeth. And it's like, um, well it makes you look kind of weird, doesn't it? Doesn't it? We're so open-minded about teeth these days. We, we like Japanese women's teeth. We like British women's teeth. This episode's gotten off to a really weird start. <laughs> Just letting my mind wander, as it were. Letting my feet wander as well, as does Brandar the Bard from time to time. Uh, this is apparently like the dirt path where I'm supposed to go down and find the farm or something like that. I hope that it just keeps going this way and it's going to be super simple to find it. Uh, I might also get lost in the woods. That's completely an option as well. But it don't really matter. We're still having a good time out here, right? Right? Little Dayton? Why don't you answer me, little Dayton? We don't talk. We don't talk much anymore. He doesn't like how I drive. But that's okay. I've kept him alive this long, so uh, I figure I must be doing something right. You're not dead. Why don't Why don't you just be thankful for that, huh? This is a bit of a windy path through the woods, but it's nice to uh, get out and get to know my neighborhood. You know? Oh, there's a fence. There's a fence. We might have found it. Hell yeah! Look at this here farmhouse. Sexy as fuck it is. Oh, I would love to set up out here. I should have done this place instead of the, the rest house romp. My goodness. What goodies what might we find? Hmm. I just want uh, some adhesive bandages, if that's possible. I guess not. I'm really loaded up on stuff anyways. All these doors are open. It's kind of creeping me out a little bit. Where did these people go? Tell me the story. There's lots of sheets and things, so I could, uh, possibly set up animal husbandry, exactly what I'd expect to be out here. First aid for beginners. I guess I should be reading this or something. Um, yeah, my bags are just so fucking full. Ah, what a pain in the ass. Alright, I'll take this. I am, uh... Not necessarily leveling my first aid, but it is getting up there, somehow, magically. And, uh, I healed really fast from my, my window cut wound. One of my lovely subscribers reminded me about the time that I, uh, jumped out a window and broke my foot for, like, the first part of this playthrough. <laughs> and I had almost forgotten about that, so I'm really glad that that was not a mistake that we made twice. Really, really grateful. Um... Yeah, there's not a whole lot in here. Old-fashioned donuts, little bit of yogurt, mmm, some yogi bear. There's a lot of shit out here. I didn't think the farm was this big, to be quite honest. Lots of sheets and things like that. Basically, sheets are the only thing that I uh, find that I need out of those those side table drawers. Sometimes there's bats and shit. I take that back. But yeah, usually it's just clothes and junk. I'm really expecting there to be, like, a zombie somewhere around here. Chess? We can't play chess. We need the, the chess board and all the pieces. We need the black pieces and the white pieces. That's how it goes. Do you know how to play chess? I'm not very good at it. I usually just move the knights first. The knights are, like, my favorite fucking... Wow! Look at all these toys! Awesome! The knights are my favorite piece in chest. Chess. <laughs> not chest. Because, uh, they can, they can take the fucking queen down, you know? 
they they got that like little L shape uh movement pattern which the queen cannot uh deflect which is really really nice obviously you have many more pieces than just those two on the board but it's it's pretty cool all things considered and here's a, a workshop of sorts gas cans propane torch hmm thought there might be some guns on the farm and I would be wrong about that these were green farmers they didn't like hunting and killing animals oh wait there's a chicken coop so they did uh, keep some chickens not free range chickens oh god why is it locked I want to go in there can I go in the little hole I guess not I have to knock the door off which I'm uh, more than capable of, to be quite honest. And I want to see what's in there. We might s find some delicious eggs. Because it seems the eggs uh, aren't rotting as long as they're in a carton. So let's see. Open this shit up. Excuse me. Pardon me. Nobody in here but us chickens. Wow. Not much at all. Slingshot. That, that could be fun. Get your accuracy up or something like that. And then no door hinges. Just a doorknob. I don't know what happens to the fucking hinges. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, where's my baseball bat? There you are, boy. Clip this primary. We'll put the axe back in the bag. That's how it goes. I was really hoping there would be something uh, more interesting in the chicken coop. I'm tempted to take all of those stuffed animals, the fucking toy octopus. That shit was awesome. I was really excited for that. Ooh, here's a barn. They got a little dog house. What the fuck? I like this a lot. Anybody in here? No. No horses. No nothing. I guess this is where you keep the pigs. Go back here and slop the pigs. Yeah, boy, we could be farmers. Wow, I didn't think that was uh, so low that I could jump over it. But I guess if it's below your arms, you can just throw your arms up there and throw your body after your arms and... Victory! Victory for everyone! Hmm. No animals. I guess the zombies ate the animals. Animals were a bit too loud. And uh, this must be the stalls where you keep the horses. Usually you want to divide it and keep all the horses separate because horses are fucking assholes. And they bite each other, they have like a pecking order. So the one that's lowest on the pecking order gets the shit abused out of him. <laughs> that's just how horses work. I'm also really surprised there's like no zombies out here. That's quite shocking to me. But, oh well. I guess this was the farm. Took such a long, a long time to get here, and uh, I'm just kind of disappointed by what I found. No crops, delicious crops. I wanted some food and things like this. I could uh, probably board up some windows and. <gasps> what the fuck was that? Excuse me. I heard a glass breaking sound, and I don't quite know what to think of it. It was random as shit. <laughs> OMG, random XD. Well, guess that's it for the farm. Thanks for sharing your mysteries with me. Um, I'll have to be off now. God damn, I'm so disappointed by that. That's so sad. Ah, not really much to do on the farm, unfortunately. I hate to go right back home though. Because uh, it took me so long to get out this way. So maybe we just go exploring. We'll do a little bit of exploring around the farm. Look at all these giant trees. My god. This has been untouched for quite some time. And I don't just mean uh, since the Zombocalypse. This is, this is old forest, I tell you what. Forest Gump forest. Not a very smart man forest. I don't know why I always talk about Forest Gump. That fucking movie that I hate. <laughs> oh, here's a road. Let's follow the road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. I have some exertion. That's okay. We're following the yellow brick road. It's been three months and eight days. My God. We're almost up to a uh, hundred episodes now, I do believe. 
if this is the hundredth one. I think it is. I think it just might be. Happy 100th Project Zomboid episode, everyone! As long as you're not counting the ones where we were uh, playing with Plaintosh. Because we did quite a few of those as well. If you want to see some some collaboration and also uh, Dayton dies. Dayton dies a lot in those episodes, but, uh, you know, we had a good laugh about it. So I guess that's the important thing, isn't it? Oh, and I drank all my fucking water. Bummer! Bummer, I got nothing! I shouldn't have brought all these fucking guns and bullets and canned shit. I don't really need all this canned shit, do I? I don't really need these sheets, do I? Answer, no. Forgot to put those fishing traps down as well. Oh god, I'm just losing my mind. That's how it goes around here. It's almost noon. I hope that I can find some somewhere to settle down before the, the sun sets. I always start thinking about uh, finding a place to crash around like 3 or 4 o'clock. Which I think would be a, a smart thing to do in a zombie apocalypse. You don't want to be out when the sun is setting. Around 6 o'clock, that shit is uh, game time for the zombos. And not necessarily for me. I am not welcome. I'm not welcome to the party! Even though I'm like the funnest one at the party, you know, I'm the only one that can keep up a, a conversation or whatnot. Hmm, I was thinking I could eat some of this. You know, these only get rid of hunger and unhappiness. Jarred apples. Hmm, should really grow an apple tree. That would be nice. Then I could jar all my apples. I hope they're jarred uh, with sugar and cinnamon, because if it's with vinegar, that's pretty disgusting. I don't know, it could be good. I won't hate on it because I haven't tried it, but uh, it's definitely unconventional if you're going to preserve apples. You probably want to do it with some sweeter spices and things like this. Cinnamon's not necessarily sweet. Cinnamon kind of sucks by itself, as a matter of fact. <laughs> If you uh, take away the sugar from cinnamon, it's it's pretty gross. You want me to be completely honest? How do I know that? Well, I thought that cinnamon would be delicious, so I just tried to eat some. <laughs> and it didn't work. <laughs> I mean, I was able to eat it. It wasn't like that cinnamon challenge or whatever the fuck people were doing for a little while. <laughs> Where you like almost asphyxiate yourself with a spoonful of cinnamon. Mine was just like a little, a little dabble in my hand, you know? And then you lick it and you're like, oh. That's disgusting, not only because it tastes, uh, like bark. It's good tasting for tree bark, but it is just tree bark. <laughs> and then you also get the, the scum from your hand. You know, you probably want to wash your hands if you're gonna do the, the cinnamon in the hand. If you're gonna eat anything from your hand, honestly. What are you, a fucking horse? Horses don't want to lick your hand either. You know, they like a salt lick, but um, if you feed a horse an apple or something like that, he's not going to lick your hand. Fuck no. He knows there's germs and all kinds of gross shit on there. Poop? Poop if you wipe your butt? You gotta... <laughs> oh my god. Something interesting about the Philippines. Nobody really uses toilet paper. It's all like water. You just wash your butt after you poop. Which, uh, I guess Europeans know about, but coming from America, I'm like, what the fuck? Are you serious right now? Yeah, they are. 100, bro. Let's eat some of this MRE. At least I can take care of the hunger, not the thirst. Also, when I was in Japan, they, I mean, they had toilet paper and shit like that. But they also had, like, robot toilets. Oh, that shit was really cool lift up the seat and it starts to get all warm and then you sit on it and it feels kind of weird because nobody's used to like a warm toilet seat. It feels basically like somebody was just there before you, which is one of the worst feelings ever if you uh, have used a public toilet and experienced this. Oh god, for shame. <laughs> uh, yeah, even if you put the, the little paper cover, wax paper cover, or whatever to, to keep your bum bum safe, you can still feel the warmth through the paper. It's just like, <laughs> why this? Why anything? 
But apparently uh, Japan likes that, you know. I guess if it's from a robot, you know that a robot is doing the warming, it's okay. A robot has a cold metal butt, that poop doesn't even come out of it unless it's programmed to poop. Which, uh, you know, seems kind of gratuitous to me. You got all these sex robots, you know what they're programmed to do? They're just programmed to fuck. They don't even poop. Unless you like uh, scat porn or something like that, which is also a pretty Japanese thing. <laughs> Japanese and German. That's right. Let me tell you about that. I don't know nothing about that. I did see a... Uh, like a girl being humped by a dog in a Japanese sex shop, so that was... That was a cherry that was popped for me in Japan. Thank you so much, Japan. They got, like, fake vaginas everywhere and girls getting humped by dogs and all this madness. <laughs> uh, she didn't look like she was having a good time either. Um, yeah. Years later, I heard of a... I think it was on a Leafy video or something. He's talking about this girl that has a YouTube channel that's basically just advocating sex with her dog. Which, uh... I, I don't know. I just don't know. But I assume that she enjoys it more than that uh, poor Japanese woman. <laughs> How'd they get off on this tangent? Oh yeah, water in my butt. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I, I thought that uh, there's like three, three or four different buttons on this robot toilet. And uh, warming the seat wasn't one of them, because uh, obviously you just lift the lid and that's what warms the seat. It's pretty fucking amazing. Pretty next level shit out here. And then um, I tried pushing the next button, thought maybe it's to flush or something like that. No. Shot me right in the ass. I was raped with a, a water gun, basically. Got raped by a super, super soaker. <laughs> And then I was too scared to try, like, the rest of the buttons, you know? I, I eventually figured out which one was the flush, but, uh, they don't have any words, you know? You've either got moon runes, or, um, little pictograms, or something like that, you know? It's like, oh, that one looks like poop being flushed down the toilet. The other one looked like a water fountain, so, uh, I don't know why I would try that one first. Maybe if you were confused and you're like, oh, that's what it looks like when I pee, and then you push that button, then you're gonna get in like a, a pee fight with the toilet, basically, where you're trying to pee the water down, but the water's trying to pee your pee back in. <laughs> Peeing back and forth forever. Oh, romantical. But yeah, the, the toilet's always gonna win. They have a lot better water pressure there than, than your kidneys do. Unless you've got, like, super strong kidneys. I'd like to see the, the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest pee. I'm sure I could have done it uh, when I was younger or something like that. Because if I, like, really squeezed and tried to get my pee out, that shit was a super soaker. It was amazing. I would pee so hard. <laughs> and now that I'm a little bit older, uh, I can't pee as hard, you know? It's so unfortunate that age, time, has just damaged my kidneys, urethra, uh, whatever the fuck is down there that controls the pee. It's so sad. It makes me cry. I cry whenever I think about it. I'm crying right now, actually. It doesn't sound like it, but, uh, I definitely am. Excessive exertion can barely walk, but I seem to be able to run just fine. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and boost that exertion up. As soon as I find a house or like anything that I can sneak into, I'll uh, I'll have a little rest. Um, I don't know where this road goes. It's so easy to look things up on the map. I, I should just look it up on the map and see what's happening. But there's also a... Uh, it you lose the sense of adventure, you know? You're just like, oh, where am I going? But then there's also, uh, yeah, the chance that I could just run into like a big black dead end. This this part of the map has not been built yet, and then I'm super fucked because I have to run all the way back down this road. I basically stuck it out this far. I don't know how much farther I can stick it out, but um, yeah, I guess we'll see. <laughs> I guess we will have to see. Can I ask you guys a personal question? Uh, what color is your pee? <laughs> 
Because a lot of times people are like, your pee is supposed to be completely white if you're drinking enough water. Well, I don't drink enough water. I already know that for a fact. But, um, I mean, my pee is like yellow-ish. It's, but I, I can't possibly drink enough water to get it completely white. Which is super unfortunate. I think that's unfair. I think it's um just a standard that was set. And, you know, they're basically lying to you that your pee can be white or water-colored. Unless you drink nothing but water. But you know what? I, I need a boost in the mornings. I get that coffee going. And then once the kid comes home from school and shit like that, I'm helping out with the homework. But I'm I'm just fucking exhausted and just get a little, get a little Coca-Cola going. Which is way worse than the coffee, if you want me to be... Uh, quite frank. If you don't drink coke now, then, then don't start. It's just like cigarettes. Why the fuck would I start drinking this? I guess because, uh, unlike cigarettes, people will give you coke when you're like five years old. They're like, eh, here you go. I saw this video of like a, a Malaysian five-year-old or some shit like that, and he was just smoking cigarettes. <sighs> Have you seen that? That is so horrifying, also hilarious. Um, yeah. His parents should probably be in prison or something like that, but I I'm not going to tell you how to raise your kids, honestly. Do whatever you want. Kids get fucked up in uh, plenty more ways than that. Even just divorce or something like that really, really fucks a kid up. You know, uh, males get like a 33% a chance, basically a third chance more of going to prison if they come from a, a family of divorce. Which kind of pans out, because my brother is in jail, <laughs> and I am not, so I guess I I was the outlier of that statistic. Or no, the outlier is the smaller percentage, so I guess he's the outlier of that statistic. Here's a, a, little, a little place that I can maybe rest up. It's like a, a lumber mill of some sorts. It's not too busted up in here, so maybe I could just have a little lie down. Makes me kind of nervous with all these windows and shit around, but, um, we could at least get rid of the exhaustion. The exertion. The what you call it. In between episodes, I am gonna look and see where this fucking lumber mill is, so, uh, I don't get too lost. <laughs> I'm super excited that I found the thing. Um, yeah. It could have been bad, like I was saying. We could have been really, really fucked. But instead, it, it turned out okay, as most things seem to do. I'm a pretty happy-go-lucky sort of guy, most of the time. Maybe they got a water cooler in here. Hell yeah, they do. Fill this bottle up. Let's have a little drinky drink. Yes. Oh, and I already drank some from the, the water bottle, so... Fill it up again! Don't you understand what a full water bottle looks like? There shouldn't be any air in there. It's all, it's all water. It's a bottle for water. They don't call it an air bottle. I think that's just called an oxygen tank or something like that. Oh, hey buddy. What are you doing? Hanging out on the side of the lumber mill. Smoking cigarettes. That ain't good for you. Trust me, Dayton does. The arbiter of health. Who uh, talks about five-year-old Malaysian children smoking cigarettes. Uh, oh god. I started smoking cigarettes again. My wife got so mad at me. She's like, I thought you got the vape and you're gonna give all this up. And I'm like, it's fucking hard. Every time I'm in a 7-Eleven or... They do have 7-Eleven in the Philippines. I found that pretty impressive. But anytime I'm basically fucking anywhere uh, that offers cigarettes, I'm just like, well, what if I only had one? They also sell, like, separate, uh, like, single cigarettes. Lucy's, I think the, uh, the black folk call them. <laughs> and, uh, sometimes I'll get, I'll get one a damn, which is probably what started the, uh, the descent into more cigarettes. I really want to try killing something with this wiffle ball bat. <laughs> oh, God, that'd be so funny. All right, let's try it. Let's at least try it. We gotta try it. I never seen one of these. 
This is a new thing for me. Climbing pack. That's not as good as my other pack, I don't think. Yeah, 80% weight reduction. Capacity is only 22 when compared to, uh, oh, 20. Okay, so mine is definitely better. Hiking bag is better than climbing pack, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but whatever. It be what it be. Mm, I'm also getting extremely tired, which is weird because, uh, I think I woke up kind of late today. Maybe it was all the running and shit like that. Let's go find a zombie and kill him with a whipple ball bat. <laughs> Hello? But anyways, yeah, my uh, my wife was super angry that I was smoking cigarettes, and I, I felt bad. Oh my god, this, this whipple ball bat's actually pretty effective. I don't know if the durability is the same as a baseball bat, maybe it's even better. Who knows? Space age polymers! Polymers and plastics! Hell yeah. I'm super satisfied with my wiffle ball bat. Oh, and there's an open door over here. I don't think I can close that. So this isn't probably uh, the best place to have a lie down, but it'll do. As long as I hang some sheets up on the on the doors over there, we should be just fine. There's a pallet of logs. I would rather like that. Mmm, jar with lid. Can I fit this somewhere? Sure can. That's pretty light. Don't worry about it. Box of balloons. Hell yeah. Party time. What time is it? It's party time. What time is it? It's party time. Party time? Party time. Mmm, I shouldn't have brought my axe because there is another axe out here. But I didn't know that I was going to run across this fucking place. It's definitely a factory. A log cutting factory. So I suspect there will be much lumber lying about. Mm, but not so much aside from that uh, pallet of logs. I think I also saw a plank in one of the trash cans. Hey, bitch! What you doing over here? Should be here? Lay down. Gonna attract some friends with your incessant banging. Ah, headphones. This pretty nice headphones. Beats by Dre, huh? You like beats. Oh, that's nice. So good. Hmm, I'll probably, uh, chill out in this room over here. Seems like a good choice. Tarp, carrot seeds, potato seeds. I'll take some seeds. I should go back and check on my zucchinis and whatnot. But, uh, we're pretty far out to be thinking about that now. I think I need six of these. Uh, no, seven. So we had nine, so we need to leave two in here. Which, uh, I probably won't end up taking them back down. So, whatever. It is what it is. Let's add some sheets. There we go. Close the curtains. Get nice and, uh, prepared for a good night's rest. Or Santa Claus is coming to town. Well, that bitch is banging on the window over there. Should probably go take care of that sooner than later. I don't want another another window broken. Hey! Oh, he's a man. I thought you were a, a lady. I'm sorry for calling you a bitch, but not really, because you died like a bitch. Ho 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 Ah, oh, this is nice. This is like a relaxation room now. I'm feeling really good about this. And uh, I am getting a little exerted again. I don't know how this happens. Can we add a sheet? Hello? What the fuck? Add a sheet to this window! Oh my god. I don't understand anything anymore. Well, that window's wide open. Or is it? What the fuck? Well, I can't see in there, so I'll assume... Oh, I can see in there. Add this sheet. Mm. Frustration. Well, at least I'm safe if I uh, go back in my little... In my little corner here. Yes. This is nice. I should write something on this paper. Dayton does was here. 
W-U-Z, was. Hmm. I'll pack away this baseball bat, because I got enough room. Those sheets are fucking heavy, dude. That's probably one of the reasons I'm not going to end up taking them all down. I might take two more with me. But, uh, yeah, four windows is a lot. Generally, uh, two is, is a good amount, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Anyways, friends, it's super late now, almost 9 o'clock. I'm feeling drowsy as shit. So I'm going to get some rest. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Project Zomboid. Our 100th episode. I hope it was enjoyable. Uh, I got really silly talking about butts and pee-pee and poo-poo. So <laughs> if you're if you're sophomore like me, maybe you'll enjoy it. Anyways, uh, I'd appreciate if you'd like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. Because one, that lets me know that you enjoyed it. Two, it helps the channel to get out there. And three, it makes you feel fucking awesome for making me feel fucking awesome. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next one, friends. Once more, thanks so much for watching. And until then, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you. My friends.